What's up guys? We are back again for another video here. Welcome to the channel, first off. Um, as you guys can tell, we're back on the point of view for today. A lot of you guys gave me the thumbs up and loved it from last video. If you guys missed last video, make sure you guys check it out first. Uh, but we're going to get started right off the bat with the S13. I know a lot of you guys are waiting for the E36. And if I sound congested, that's because I am congested. If any of you guys have, like, remedies, let me know. <laughs> but I'm going to try and go ahead and complete and solve the transmission leak. We also have some new parts to put on on the car, so it's going to be a really good day. So let's just hop right into it. <sighs> All right. So I might even take out... Nah. Really? So juicy, man. Jeez. Alright, so the gasket seems honestly fine. Um, right? Should I even replace it? I really don't think this is the problem. So a lot of me is just leaving it to believe that it is the drive shaft seal. And if it's not, I'll go ahead and replace this, but I mean, honestly, guys, I really don't think we even need to, Bob. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put this back on. I'm sorry, guys. Waste of time. You know what? I'm not gonna put my shifter in because we have some parts to put in first, Bob's. But actually, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. You guys can see there's a bunch of oil on it. From when I didn't have this really bolted down, it splattered up inside the car, so that was pretty great so I'm gonna clean this up first and we'll finally get this car looking like it should be also if you guys are interested in something like this hang on let me just unplug them now if any of you guys are interested in because uh, I made this guy and as you guys can see they kind of have him facing towards me and I didn't have a welder so I kind of did like some body work and some filler and some metal and then we filled it so if you guys are interested in something like this even if they're just flat face they're super easy to make I can you know I have the template I can make you guys one let me know and we can kind of get something happening here and same with this guy but uh, yeah, just a, just a quick heads up, you know? I'm gonna clean my hands up first, and then we'll clean this guy. All right, all cleaned up, a little bit better for sure. And we'll go ahead and, I don't really know what's going on with this gauge here. All right, those can stay in there. Sweet, let's go get the special box. Here it is, this is it. This is what I've been waiting for, for, uh, couple days <laughs> oh yeah uh-huh hopefully you guys can see this is gold I'm gonna keep all this yeah that's mine thank you guys but what we're most excited for is right here ha <laughs> ha I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about g2 carbon these guys are <laughs> oh my god are you kidding me I don't even know if this finish is showing up on camera, and it's not even sunny outside, but... God, that's insane! <laughs> what? So this is G2 Carbon, guys. They absolutely straight up killed the game. Now, as you guys can see, this is a factory 240 uh, center console armrest. However, they over... This is real carbon fiber. Clear-coated. Oh my god, I'm... Oh yeah. Let's put this to the side for now. And here we have the radio bezel. Jeremy, Ian, I know you guys are watching. You guys are the tr you guys are the real MVP for real. This is incredible. This red carbon gets me every time. Oh yeah, yes, just yes, yes, and yes, boys. Seriously, this looks insane. Let's go pop these in the car. Screw that puppy on. Bada boom. Now we'll put this guy on. Oh, my car is back. Hell yeah, brother. That looks so good. Hopefully this shows up on camera. It's not sunny out, so obviously you're not gonna get the full effect of the carbon, but God, put this guy on now. And uh, yeah, man. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. We're back in business, boys. Don't mind the mess, but. Oh, boys, I'm so stoked. All right, well, actually, you know, before we even do anything else, we got something, we got something to do here. All right. 
how does that even look? Does that look kind of weird? It looks kind of weird, but you know what? We're gonna leave it. If you guys even want me to make these, it would be super cheap. It would probably be like four bucks a pop, you know, shipped. If you guys want me to make like 50 or 100 of these, let me know. I'll go ahead and make them. I, they're, they're simple, I only got a couple, but I figured on my car, it's just something to, for people to see, you know, so put on the other side as well. And I have a surprise for you guys. You guys are gonna just straight up love me. <sighs> you guys see what these are? Correct, wheel spacers. Now what I have currently on the front are 15 mil spacers. Now as you guys can see, we have a good about 20 mil a poke, you know? Um, so these ones, so the reason why I have spacers, the reason why I have to run spacers, the inner, in the inside of my tire, because I'm running just straight meat, uh, rubs the inside of the core. It doesn't rub, but it's so close to the point that the tire roll, well, turnering, tur turnering, turning, is probably gonna, you know, make contact. So we have some five mil spacers, billet, um, hub centric. If you guys are looking for some, I'll probably have some in the description for Nissan Infiniti. Uh, if you're looking for Toyota, whatever else, you will probably have to look on your own. But for Toyota Infiniti, I'll have them in, you know, in the description for you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and swap out the 15 mils for the five mils. I'm super stoked. I am probably gonna go ahead and just toss a quick little lick of paint on them just to make them black. Um, at least on the outside, you know, just the outside edge, just make it super, super quick and easy. And uh, we'll be good to go. So let's do that. All right, so while we let those dry up, just take you guys in again, quickly show you what it looks like kind of here. Um, you know, she's poking. Get that poke down a little bit. It's gonna look a whole lot better in general. You know what I'm seeing? You know what I'm seeing, boys? Man, it is real humid today. <laughs> But uh, since yesterday, it just kind of started pouring. Well, actually, scratch that. It got really dark, and then this morning, I came out here, just turned the camera on, started dumping with rain. So now, it's a little clearer now. Um, check these stickers out, by the way. Again, if you guys are interested, let me know, and we'll get something happening. Uh, but like I said from yesterday, we're gonna go ahead and just toss our spacers on the front. That's gonna be the next thing for the list. Um, and yeah, we should get this thing looking even better. Oh, let's check a look at this carbon right quick. I mean, check that out. Holy crap, man. Ooh, that's so fire. Like, it looks insane. <laughs> so nice to have it back. But yeah, let's try and get rid of some of this wheel poke. What do you guys say? trick I learned in junior high. Alright, they on there. She on there. No! Oh, yeah! Just a little trick I learned in, in junior high. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Whoa! Oh, gosh. Don't strip on me, baby. Don't do that. taped up uh you know that felt really really good so yeah I'm gonna yeah bah. Bah. yeah all right here comes the fun part again wish me luck mm, yes yes yeah <laughs> oh Oh my god, it's the best day ever. Why'd I have those, that side so tight, man? <sighs> Cost me half my thumb. Damn. Ooh, 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 ooh. My neighbors are probably like, what the hell? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Hey, these are uh, phase two motor trend spacers, guys. Highly recommend them. Super high quality, really nice. Don't they don't come loose? They're really good. So check them out, guys. And there we go. They're hub centric, so they don't move around. 
just like that, which is kind of, you know, that doesn't really matter because as long as it's in the center. But we definitely don't, we definitely don't want this in here. Holy shit. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Come on. Come on. Looks so good, man. Now we can lower the car, boys. We can actually lower the car now. This is a good day. It's like what I it looks like <laughs> looks like I know what we're doing next. Yes. Yes. You guys see that? I mean, the difference is Quite substantial. Now we just gotta lower it a bunch. Get rid of this wheel gap, you know? Shall we? Okay. That's good enough. <laughs> I'm gonna measure the bottom thread, see how much we got now, and basically replicate that on the other side, but maybe just like a thread higher because the driver sits there, so. better just gotta let it settle a little bit maybe it'll go down some more we're going in the right direction though god that breeze feels nice yeah we're getting there that's a whole lot better though in general I'm gonna clean up cool down drink some stuff hydrate whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, hang on all right, well, hopefully you guys can hear me and hopefully you guys can see me. Hopefully we should be all right now. I just wanted to end this video and, and announce some huge news. Um, real news, not fake news. <laughs> some huge real news. And uh, I've been waiting a, about a week to tell you guys now. So I figured it's kind of, I guess now is the time. I'm, I'm, I, can't, I can't resist from holding back from you guys anymore. So what is the big news you might ask? Um, no, we're just gonna, we might just put this in the next video. So thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you later. No, I'm, I'm totally just, I'm totally just, oh, I just rolled my, that's karma for me, I just rolled my, but no, for real, guys, so, um, David, that dude in blue, um, is gonna be reviewing my 240, <laughs> I'm so stoked on it, it's gonna be huge, it's gonna be a killer, it's gonna be a game changer, I've been talking to him for about almost three weeks now, probably, um, and we came to the conclusion that August 12th will be the day, now, the video on his channel probably won't come up for, like, another few weeks after that, or a week, or whatever, uh, hopefully sooner than later because I, I know that it's gonna be such a like uplifting thing for the channel as well It's really gonna help out both for me and you so um, I just figured I'd let you guys know now if you guys are new to the channel Make sure you guys go check out the build watch the dino content watch some you know just most recent ripping footage We've been taking the thing to Mexico So uh, we had a lot of fun with this car already and it's just the beginning like seriously, so um that's kind of it in a nutshell. If you guys have any questions or want to know anything more specifically, we'll go over it in the next video if you guys drop your questions down below. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're going to have our car reviewed by that dude in blue. I mean, that's still, that's like goals. Seriously, when I came into like YouTube and building this car, I was like, you know what? Dave is going to review this thing. And look look what's happening. Uh, he obviously, as you guys know, has a beautiful 240 himself. Um, but um, yeah, so hope you guys are stoked. Toss a thumbs up if you guys like it. And um, I guess... Now, now we can close the video up. <laughs> All right, you guys know the drill. Make sure you guys give a thumbs up. Blue thumbs up. Uh, <laughs> thumbs up for my thumb. Comment, like, share, subscribe with your friends, guys. Honestly, it really does mean the world to me. So stickers are still available. Uh, very few left. The oil slicks are selling like hotcakes. I can't snap. I tried to snap. I couldn't snap there. <laughs> so make sure you guys grab one. Also, if you guys are interested in the Calvin's Garage, it's super, super simple stickers that are going to be cheap, real easy, probably black and white, you know, maybe even just white. We'll just make it super, super easy and clean. So, wow, just, hey, yeah, so uh, thanks guys for watching. No, seriously, <laughs> sorry, this camera work. I'm trying to, I'm trying to imp uh, improve my camera work. So, let me know if it's working. Um, the GoPro should be having some pretty nice focus all the time. So, this it's just the DSLR that has, get, that has issues with focusing. But, as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Body kit coming soon. A lot of stuff happening soon for this guy, so all to come in the future. I'll see you guys in the next video though. Hope you have a good day. Later.